welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says, A merchant plans to sell two types of personal computers, a desktop model and a portable model. That will cost Rs. 25,000 and Rs. 40,000 respectively. He estimates that the total monthly demand of computers will not exceed 250 units. Determine the number of units of each type of computers which the merchant should stop to get maximum profit if he does not want to invest more than rupees 70 lakhs and if his profit on the desktop model is rupees 4500 and on portable model is rupees 5000. So let's start the solution. Now, according to the given question, a merchant plans to sell two types of personal computers, a desktop model and a portable model that will cost Rs. 25,000 and Rs. 40,000 respectively. Now, we have to determine the number of units of each type of computers which the merchant should stop to get maximum profit. So let number of units of desktop model and a portable model Stopped B, X, and Y respectively. So obviously, we have X greater than or equal to 0 and Y greater than or equal to 0. Now we are given the cost of a desktop model is equal to rupees 25,000 and the cost of a portable model is equal to rupees 40,000. Now the merchant does not want to invest more than rupees 70 lakhs. So the merchant maximum investment is equal to rupees 70 lakhs. Therefore, we have 25,000 X plus 40,000 Y less than equal to 70 lakhs. That is the cost of X desktop model plus the cost of Y portable model should be less than or equal to rupees 70 lakhs. As a merchant does not want to invest more than rupees 70 lakhs, again we are given the total monthly demand of computers will not exceed 250 units since the total monthly demand of computers will not exceed two fifty units. We have X 
plus y less than equal to 250? That is the number of units of desktop model stock plus the number of units of portable model stock should be less than equal to 250. Again, we are given the merchant's profit on the desktop model is rupees 4500 and on portable model is rupees 5000. So, the total profit in rupees is equal to 4500x plus 5000y. Let z is equal to 4500x plus 5000y. Now the merchant wants to maximize his profit. So the problem reduces to maximize z is equal to 4500x plus 5000y subject to the constraints twenty five thousand x plus forty thousand y less than equal to seventy lakhs or five x plus eight y less than equal to one thousand four hundred let us give this as number one so this is our first constraint. X plus Y less than equal to 250. Let us give this as number 2. And X greater than equal to 0 and Y greater than equal to 0. Let us give this as number 3. So Z is equal to 4500X plus 5000Y is our objective function. We have to maximize Z subject to the constraints 5x plus 8y less than equal to 1400, x plus y less than equal to 250, x greater than equal to 0 and y greater than equal to 0. Now we will draw the graph and find the feasible region subject to these constraints. So first we will draw the line corresponding to the inequality 5x plus 8y less than equal to 1400. Now the equation corresponding to the inequality 5x plus 8y less than equal to 1400 is 5x plus 8y is equal to 1400. Now when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 175 and when y is equal to 0, x is equal to 280. So the points 0, 175 and 280, 0 satisfy the equation 5x plus 8y is equal to 1400. So the graph of the line 5x plus 8y is equal to 1400 can be drawn by plotting the points 0, 175 and 280, 0 and then joining them. Let A is the point 0, 175 and B is the point 280, 0. So AB represents the equation 5x plus 8y is equal to 1400. Now 
AB divides the plane into two half planes. So, we will consider the half plane which will satisfy one. Now, clearly the origin satisfy this inequality. So, the half plane containing the origin is the graph of one. Again, the equation corresponding to the inequality x plus y less than or equal to 250 is x plus y is equal to 250. Now clearly the points 0, 250 and 250, 0 satisfy the equation x plus y is equal to 250. So we will plot these points on the same graph. To get the graph of the line x plus y is equal to 250. Now let us take C as a point 0, 250 and D as a point 250, 0. So CD represents the equation of the line x plus y is equal to 250. Again, this line divides a plane into two half planes. So we will consider the half plane which will satisfy two. Clearly the origin satisfies this inequality. So the half plane containing the origin is the graph of two. Again x greater than or equal to zero and y greater than or equal to zero implies that the graph lies in the first quadrant only. So, now the green shaded region in this graph is the feasible region satisfying all the given constraints. Now, clearly the shaded region is bounded. So, now we will find out the coordinates of the corner points of this feasible region. Now, the coordinates of point A are 0, 175. Now the coordinates of the origin are 0, 0. Again the coordinates of the point D are 250, 0. Now let us take this point which is a point of intersection of the line 5x plus 8y is equal to 1400 and x plus y is equal to 250 as a point P. Now, from this graph, we observe that the coordinates of P are 250. So, here, the feasible region is bounded with coordinates of its corner points as 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, whose coordinates are 0, 0, B, whose coordinates are 250, 0, and P, whose coordinates are 250. Now, according to the corner point method, maximum value of Z will occur at any of these points. So, we will evaluate Z, which is equal to 4500x plus 5000y at each point. Now, at the point 0, 175, z is equal to 4500 into 0 plus 5000 into 175. And this is equal to 
Now, at origin, Z is equal to 4500 into 0 plus 5000 into 0, which is equal to 0. Now, again, at the point 250, 0, Z is equal to 4500 into 250 plus 5000 into 0 and this is equal to 11 lakh 25000 now at 250 z is equal to 4500 into 200 plus 5000 into 50 and this is equal to 9 lakh plus 2 lakh 50,000 and this is again equal to 11 lakh 50,000. So here we observe that the maximum value of Z is equal to 11 lakh 50,000 which occurs when x is equal to 200 and y is equal to 50. Therefore, for maximum profit, of rupees 11 lakh 50 thousand the merchant should stop two hundred units of desktop model and 50 units of portable model. Hence the answer for the above question is the merchant should store 200 units of desktop model and 50 units of portable model then his profit will be maximum and then the maximum profit will be rupees 11 lakhs 50,000. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.